teams to split their regular season meeting. This season, the home team won both games and the tip controlled by Bowie State. We're gonna have some fun. Six and final game of the day to wrap up day two of the CIAA tournament. Great to have you with us here on ESPN Plus, wherever you may be watching today. Carpenter looks ahead to Ayate, and the rebound squeezed in by Jordan Peebles. He's on the floor with Khalif Tate, Darius Hines Sled, along with Raheem Wright and Robert Osborne. The starting five for Union, Anthony Carpenter, Dexter Turner, David McCullough, Kobe Ayate, and Khalil Williams, the Bowie State starting five. Here's Hines Sled for three. Rebound picked up by Carpenter. Carpenter, who hit for 17 last night, had five three-pointers in the win against Elizabeth City State on the floor. Turner has it with 10 to shoot. Here's McCullough, felt the double team. Rebound squeezed in by Robert Osborne. Here's Tate going left, found right underneath. Had his shot blocked by McCullough and a foul on Bowie State. And we'll take you to our Coke Zero Sugar keys to the game. Continue being dogs. I like that. Just be who we are. Just come out ready. Virginia Union not one to be victim, just like the other uh, upsets from yesterday. Although today it's been pretty much two to form in terms of the seeds. The number one seed already advanced to the semifinals. That was Fayetteville State after their win over Virginia State earlier tonight, 72 to 60. We've seen four double-digit seeded teams on both the men and women's side advance to the next round. Wright splits a pair as the Panthers draw first blood against Daryl Brooks and the Bowie State Bulldogs in its 11th season at Bowie State, a two-time conference tournament champ with the Bulldogs. Up ahead to Williams, short on the layup, loose ball, Williams gets it back, still trying to find the basket, loose ball picked up by Tate, and Turner blocks him and draws a foul. Is it just me, but today we've seen a lot of missed shots in all the games, right there at the basket. We were talking about that last night during, I want to say it was the Bowie State Elizabeth City State game in regards to the depth perception. I don't I know it was layups and they were close, but this is a much different backdrop than what these guys are accustomed to shooting in their gyms. Yeah, the wall, it's more closed in and a more intimate setting. And if you don't get enough uh, shooting practice, there, there can be a negative impact. Tate's first shot is good for the Panthers who are up three to nothing. The junior from out of DC. Two minutes gone by, Bowie still looking for their first points and they may get it at the line as McCullough draws the foul on Virginia Union. It'll go against Osborne. Yeah, got him with the body. And anytime you bring that arm down, you're gonna get a foul call. Our officials tonight, Jermaine Rogers, Quentin Murphy, and Alex Langley. Murphy, a CIAA tournament legend, we could say, a veteran in this tournament. McCullough and the Bulldogs still looking for their first point as he missed the first free throw. 74% free throw shooter this season. Eighth best in the CIAA. Second free throw rolls in. Bulldogs are on the board. Here's Sled, threw it right to Turner. Up ahead, can McCullough catch up with it? He does. Throws it up and draws a foul. Jay Butler, the head coach of Virginia Union, didn't like that at all. And Khalif Tate picks up the foul. Seems like he's looking at. He looks like he just tripped over his own feet. Jay Butler, the head coach at his alma mater in his sixth season with the Panthers. 116 career wins. He has a championship to his credit as a head coach of Virginia Union and also as a player. He won that title in 2018 in Charlotte and won multiple conference championships under the legendary Dave Robbins as a player at Virginia Union. 
McCullough missed the first, missed both. Peoples the rebound for Union. Bowie one of four so far from the line. As we're about two and a half minutes gone by in the opening half. Tate left open and it rolls in from downtown. 6-1 run to start for Virginia Union. And they're able to set up their press when they score. Jay Butler couldn't have asked for a better start for the Panthers here in their first game of the tournament. Carpenter left open, draws a foul on the three-point attempt behind Sled. And Carpenter will get three free throws. Love it when a coach yells at a player and they won't look at him. <laughs> Because you know what that means, right? <laughs> if, if you look at him, that means he might actually take you out. So it's act like you didn't hear him. He's loud in here, coach. I didn't hear you. Oh, I thought you were going to say because the player knew he was wrong and he didn't want to look that at the too, coach. And that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> He's like, I knew I made the mistake. I don't do that. Carpenter, as I mentioned, he scored 17 last night in a win against Elizabeth City has hit the first two free throws. 74% free throw shooter in the regular season for the Bulldogs. And hits all three for Bowie as they trail 6-4. The question I think is going to be, can Bowie hang around in the first half and bring that confidence that they had against Elizabeth City and keep this crowd in it? Osborne's first shot is short. High sled claims the miss. Yeah, it's difficult for Bowie because you're not really sure what team you're going to get in the game. Tate off the screen, pulls up from the free throw line. Long rebound to Raheem Wright and a new shot clock. No, not a new shot clock. They didn't reset it. They... And they call it travel on Tate, but you're right. It did hit the rim and it never reset. They, they I looked up, it was reset. at four. Absolutely. Right, should have reset it. So a union turnover comes up with 16.45 in the first half, and Bowie trails by two and a chance to tie or take the lead. Panthers in that vaunted 2-3 zone, seen year after year. And it's a 2-3 zone, but it's an active zone. And we've got a foul off the pass. Jordan Peebles. Looks like the guilty party. People's a first team all conference performer for Virginia Union. Picks up his first foul. And that's already four on Virginia Union. And we're about three and a half minutes into this first half. Good ball movement by Union. Follow took no good by McCullough. And Peoples grabs another rebound for Union. Here's right against Ayate. Osborne got clobbered inside and will get two free throws. Well, they're certainly going to make him earn those two points. Didn't you say that in the last game? If you're going to foul, make, 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 it, worth it, it. make it count. That was from the Rocky movie. Make it count. First personal third team foul. Robert Osborne will go to the line after this collision. Ayate and Williams were in the vicinity. As Osborne makes the first free throw, Justin Rout will come in for the first time to replace Williams. Osborne shoots 62% from the line this year, averaging nearly 13 points a night. He's a first team all conference performer. He splits a pair as Ayate grabs the rebound. 7 4 Union lead. Four minutes gone by here in the first half. Let's see how far out this 2 3 is. Make Bully really start their offense from way past the three point line. And again, it's a zone, but you can be active in it. You see the attempt to the trap there. Route tried to hit it from just inside the arc. Peoples another rebound for Union. Here's the alley to Osborne that falls in. Does that count as an half a half alley oop? Okay. 
They did that a lot in the season finale against Shaw in Raleigh. They said unofficially they had seven alley-oop dunks in their win against the Bears. And they do look for that a lot, especially the Jordan Peoples. He's yeah. on the end of that quite a bit. We call him Mr. Elevator Man because he can get up. Shot clock is at five for the Bulldogs. Turner from long distance was way long. And that's just as good as a turnover as long as you get the rebound. Bulldogs have yet to hit a field goal in this first half. Here's Austin. The offense way past the three-point line, making it, making them at least take very difficult shots if they're even able to get a shot off. Osborne missed both free throws for Anthony Carpenter to grab the rebound. And here comes some full court pressure by Union. Now, when you see it that active, Helen, what, what's your first objective to try to beat that? Well, uh, it depends zone. on if it's uh, if they're trapped and you want to you back dribble, you want to try to screen on that. You run some of your man-to-man -man offense against it, try to get in the gaps. And or Carpenter. You from way out and you make the shot. First field goal of the night for Union, and it came from a long distance by Anthony Carpenter. And if you can keep that up, then you're going to open up that area in the free throw line, but you've got to make those threes. That's his six from behind the arc in this tournament. And it's pulled Bowie within two. Here is Peoples, the high sled. Shot clock is under 10. Now under five. High sled. Turner the rebound for Bowie, who can actually take the lead if they can hit another three. Uh, and a travel called on Drake. He had a good look from, from the corner. I'm surprised he just didn't take it on, at that point. You have some players that are able to catch and set right there, but others have to get their balance. And it, it's it's sort of a comfort, what I call a comfort dribble. They have to do something with the basketball before they attempt to score. Tyreek Rayleigh in the game for the first time for Virginia Union. And when we get a moment during the course of this game, want to talk about his great story coming to Virginia Union as Osborne with the left hand scores for the Panthers to give them a four point lead. He's a kid that mostly goes left, but no one seems to be able to stop him. You need to force him right and you say that, but he continues to go left. Easy to say, harder to do. Transfer from out of Hampton. Drayton had his pocket picked. Rayleigh picks up the loose ball. He's got numbers four on two the lob to Peoples. Didn't get the dunk, but he found two nonetheless. And it's a 13-7 Union lead. What a nice option to know. You just throw it up there, and the guy's going to go get it, no matter where it is. He's been on the business end of a lot of alley-oops this season for Virginia Union. Here's Carpenter left open for three. Anthony Carpenter, his second in this game, seventh in this tournament. He's got nine of the Bowie, ten points in this first half to trail by three. You've got to be careful about over-rotating and leaving the shooter that much room. Peoples against Drayton. Carpenter has Tate. Carpenter picked his pocket. Can he save it? Not. Couldn't get it. But the Panthers had eight seconds on the shot clock. As we go back to Anthony Carpenter. Almost getting the steal, but getting a, there it is. There's that nice slide. Good hustle. Safe. Maybe the only type of baseball we <laughs> only type of slide we may see for baseball season. Want those guys back for spring training. I know those Oriole fans may be watching here tonight. Rayleigh, the nice lob, or the nice lead to Ramin Wright, who couldn't finish the slam. And Bowie grabs it. Down by three with a chance to tie if they can hit from distance. And stolen by Peebles. It's so long in the passing lanes. Here's Hines sled for three. A little bit short. Rebound picked up by Drayton. That's a great box out. 11 and a half to go. Bowie State leading by, trailing by three, rather. Here's McCullough to the baseline. 
And Wright grabs the miss. Down court to Wright. And got contact by Drayton. And Wright will get two free throws. Yeah, Virginia Union switching to a man-to-man -man there. Foul ball number 15, Clinton Drayton. His first personal. Devon Sims in for the first time for Virginia Union, wearing number five on that last trip. As Ramad Wright will shoot two free throws. He was a preseason all CIAA selection. This season, team's leading rebounder, six best in the CIAA, converts on the first for a 76% free throw shooter. Demarius Pitts in for the first time to replace, Jam to replace Jordan Peoples. Union shoots collectively 66% from the line. That is eighth best in the conference this season. Right hits on both, and the lead increased to five. And full court pressure by Union. And now they'll shift to the 2-3 zone that you've talked about. Carpenter again. Misses his first from distance, and the rebound picked up by Wright. Bowie, 2 of 4 from 3 in this first half. 2 of 13 from the field. Inside the right, had it blocked by McCullough, and a tie-up that will favor Union on the arrow. It's the second time that they've allowed the penetration, but been able to recover. One's a foul and one's a jump ball. That's a great play by McCullough to get the block without fouling. You see that sometimes they kind of like bring that downward motion on the block, but he was able to keep those arms parallel and right actually went into the block to cause the jump ball. Clock didn't reset now with 10 to shoot. Rayleigh for three. Rebound squeezed in by Drayton. Bowie on the run, down by five. Great rotation on the defense by the Panthers. And Drayton was short, got his own miss on the three, and a reset for Bowie. Still looking for their first field goal outside of Carpenter. Still looking for it as Hines Sled grabs the rebound. Two of 15 from the field in the first half. Osborne to Sims from the head of the key. Drayton the rebound. Inside 10 minutes in this first half. And if you boo right now, you gotta be feeling good. You're down five. Only down by five, considering how atrocious your shooting percentage has been, and considering you only have one person who's actually scored. Okafor is a little bit long. Osborne cleans up the miss for Union. Down court is Pitts, who had it blocked. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Union after a timeout. 9.27 to go in the first half. Bowie, the number two seed in this year's CIAA tournament with a five-point lead over Bowie State. The 2022 CIAA basketball tournament is brought to you by Coca-Cola, with zero sugar and refreshingly delicious. Is Coca-Cola zero sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Food Lion, this is our home. That's our Food Lion. Here at Royals Farm Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. CIAA Men's Basketball Tournament as Rayleigh's three comes off the rim. And the rebound picked up by Bowie's Khalil Williams back in the game for the Bulldogs, who trailed by five. As we're coming up on nine minutes ago here in the first half, Sean Robertson, Helen Williams, our entire crew here in Baltimore to give you the sights and the sounds of the 2022 CIAA Tournament. Back we're after a two-year absence. Yeah, able to get stops, but they're only shooting 12% from the field, and he's only got Two people that have scored 10 points. Carpenter's got nine of them. Here's a and and he's called for steps. Carpenter is the only Bulldog player with a made field goal in this game. He's two of three. The rest of the team 0 for 13. 
But I'm assuming if you're if you're Daryl Brooks in that last huddle, you're saying, hey, we're still okay. Well, and your defense is carrying you, you know, in this half. So you know, those shots will fall eventually, but you have to stay consistent with the defense. Osborne is calling for it against McCullough, but he loses it, and here comes Bowie. Carpenter out to Turner. Nice pass. Can't finish. Really the rebound. These shots that were missed by Bowie tonight were falling for the Bulldogs last night in their win against Elizabeth City. Shot clock is at 10 for Pitts and the Panthers. High sled goes baseline, stripped by Williams, and he comes up with the steal. There has been a wall there by the basket anytime Virginia Union has tried to score them on a layup. Carpenter can't finish, he gets his own rebound. That won't go down. McCullough's follow is good and a chance at a three point play. And Ate is still down on the floor for Bowie. McCullough becomes the first Bulldog other than Carpenter to get a field goal, but it's started by Williams. Nice steal there, trying to run the fast break and just being relentless on the boards. Ayate says to the official, I'm okay. He stays in the game. The young man, a transfer from North Carolina Central, grew up in Ghana. as Justin Rout will come in to replace Anthony Carpenter. McCullough at the line to try to complete the three-point play, a 74% free throw shooter this season. Converts, and there's the Panther. Making his way from Lombardi Street in Richmond to see Virginia Union and Bowie State meeting for the third time this season. High sled, trying to muscle his way to the, to the goal, and they're gonna call a foul on Union. This is great help, again, just a wall. Anytime Virginia Union has tried to penetrate to the basket, you have two, three people coming over to help. Second personal, 16 foul. And Osborne climbed the back of a bulldog, and he picks up his second foul of the game. 16 foul for Union, five for Bowie State. As we're inside seven and a half minutes, here's McCullough with the left hand. No, follow-up, no. Route the offensive rebound. Bowie State down by two with a chance for the lead. Williams, long rebound to Route and a fresh 20. Williams with the jump stop. Contact made, no whistle. Bowie in transition. Actually, Virginia Union in transition, and Williams comes up with the steal. Now Bowie in transition. Here's McCullough right down the lane. And we're tied at 15 as Bowie is on a 5-0 run. They have been working hard on defense and finally get rewarded with the tie score. First tie of the night at 15. You may hear the Bowie fans saying defense for their team with under 10 to shoot. Sims draws a foul as we go back to that last play by McCullough. Yeah, just good defense there, and that's where their points have come from, from the people who are other than Carpenter on the fast break. McCullough has six, Carpenter has nine. They have all 15 of Bowie's points, and they're tied at 15. You mentioned about the defense. That has kept them in the game to be tied where they are right now. First time we see Taj Harding, the freshman from out of Newport, Kentucky, wearing number 24. He replaces Sims. Peoples is back in along with Hines, Slid, Wright, Harding, and Tate. Bowie has Williams, Turner, Okafor, McCullough, and Rout. Here's Tate. Tried to draw a foul. And the rebound picked up by Union, but a steal by Williams. Up ahead to Rout, and he draws a foul. Again, the hustle creating offense from the defense. Tate looks like he's going to get the foul, and Jay Butler on the sideline was not liking that call at all. Uh, 
looked like he tried to avoid it. And now Tate has two fouls along with Osborne. I think he's got an argument there. I didn't really see a whole lot. Jay Butler obviously doesn't like it on the Panther sideline. Where's Mr. Greg? We need to ask him. He's missing in action. He's our interpreter for the officials. He's taking his uh, Hall of Fame stroll. Oh, I got you. Around the arena. Nah, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Route with the May free throw. As Carpenter comes in for Turner, this is Bowie's first lead of the night in the midst of a 6-0 run to lead 16-15. Peoples, the rebound for Union off the miss. Peoples looked inside, nothing but black jerseys in it. But Union gets it back. High sled against Okafor, high off the window for two. Here is Hines Sled. Sled with his first two, and Union back in front, 17 16. Union back in that matchup, 2 3. That free throw line area is wide open. Route will try to take advantage of it and draws a foul on Harding. His first team was already over the limit as Route will get two free throws. And that's a risk you take when you spread out that defense that far. Got driving lanes in there. 18 fouls on Union here in the first half and Route with an opportunity for two free throws, a 78% free throw shooter. Second tie of the night at 17. Daryl Brooks wearing that championship ring on his uh, ring finger on the right hand. It's a hand he keeps pointing with so people can oh, yeah. see it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Does that on purpose, that's the, that's the only reason why he's wearing it on that right hand to, <laughs> to, to show it off. There it is right there. He earned it, I'd, do, I'd, I'd be wearing it as well. Oh absolutely. Inside the route, caught in a straight jacket and took an extra step. Yeah, they had the, had the mismatch there with the smaller player, just wasn't able to handle the basketball. Daryl Brooks in his 11th season at Virginia Union, 185 career wins with the Bulldogs. Tied at 17, coming up on the five minute mark here in the opening half. Here's, here's Rayleigh against Carpenter. Rebound to Okafor. Up ahead to McCullough. Foul Okafor who charges both huddles in this situation as now Bowie still leads by one on Wright's rebound. Well, if you're Bowie, I mean, you're happy. You're shooting 16% from the field and you're up by one. And if you're Virginia Union, you just need a little bit better shot selection. Everything's trying, they're trying to drive to the basket and Bowie's been doing a great job of, you know, having a wall up there. And they've only gotten, I think, one score from that you know a little floater there so you need to do a better job of executing offense maybe you call some set plays and see if you can get some points that way Bowie ahead by one 18 to 17 right back in for a union with a shot clock under 10. here's high sled to harding who met up with rainy ball comes loose here comes carpenter against harding Blocked by the freshman, it'll stay with Bowie. He got blocked by his own player there. Exactly right. He was going up for the shot, and Rayleigh knocked it away on the way up. Here's the jumper by McCullough. Long rebound up ahead of Jordan Peoples, and he'll wait for teammates. Now he had a double team, and Williams comes up with the loose ball off a steal by Carpenter, and Peebles picks up the foul. Now if you're Virginia Union, you you got to make sure you let the longer you let Boy State hang around, the better opportunity Jordan they're going to have to close it out at the end. That's what you got to talk about at halftime. Is we you know, we've got to make an extended run on off. We got to get some stops. 
Now, remember in the last game with Fayetteville, Virginia State, Trojans were hampered by foul trouble right around this point in the first half, and Fayetteville State pulled away. That is now the third Panther with two fouls. Tate, Peebles, and Osborne, and Harding. That's four players with two fouls, and Bowie State leading by one after Williams' first miss. The longer you let them hang around, the more confidence they get, the more... You know, the coach is saying, hey, we can do this, we can do this. And they got that confidence from last night. They were hanging around, hanging around. Eventually took the lead, beat Elizabeth City. They're hanging around here in this first half. Even though Williams missed both free throws, Bowie's still ahead by one inside four minutes in the first half. And the low score obviously favors Bowie. I mean, we're only looking at you know, 35 points for both teams for, for the whole half. Nice denial by McCullough on Calhoun in for the first time for Union. Here's McCullough. Ball picked up by Rainey. No harm, no foul. High sled finds Hardy. And now they're going to call a foul on Carpenter. There was no foul call, no travel call. They figured they just even it out. And there was a lot of contact as McCullough tried to get to the lane. And on the other end, Taj Hardy will shoot two free throws for Union as Aate will try to come back in, but he's got to shoot the free throw. Thought it was a two-shot foul, but it's still a one-and-one. As Aate will come in to replace Okafor, a one-and-one for Hardy as that is team foul number seven on Bowie. Harding shoots 65% from the line. Game tied at 18, third tie of the night. Harding gonna be a really good player, just a freshman. Good all around game, just needs to learn the college level. And it's a big jump from a high school senior to a college freshman. Union back in front, fourth lead change here in the night. Alley to McCullough who misses a slam, and Harding grabs the miss. And that short corner is going to be open when you extend that zone really wide. You got that forward coming out playing the wing. That's something they need to talk about at halftime to take advantage of. Khalil Williams Diggins in for the first time for Virginia Union, wearing number 12. Calhoun on the baseline. It'll stay with Union with 12 to shoot. So Calhoun on the floor with Williams Diggins, Harding, Wright, and Rayleigh. The five for the Panthers in their home white. Here's Calhoun, draws contact and finds two. That's a good no call. And now they call a flop on Virginia, on Bowie State. A flopping warning on Williams. I mean, there is a disparity in girth there. Just a, just a hair? <laughs> just a hair. But the baseline official immediately signaled the flop warning. And now Union leading by three inside three minutes in the first half. Ayate on the baseline drive over Calhoun, and the teardrop finds two. And that's going to be available. When you have that forward come out, you can play basically one-on-one -on -one against him on the baseline side. No help coming over from the middle for, for Virginia Union. Ayate's first basket pulls Bowie to within one, 21-20. And Williams Diggins steps out of bounds. Bowie They're regains possession. That's happened a lot today and yesterday, too, these players stepping on the, uh, on the sideline. And that has been a common occurrence probably throughout all of college basketball. They want to take that extra step back to try to create space, but in the process, not realizing where they are on the floor. Exactly. Steps out of bounds. Coming up on two minutes to go in the first half. Great to have you with us here on ESPN Plus, the CIAA men's quarterfinals between Bowie State and Virginia Union. Williams for the lead for Bowie. Just great execution there, bringing the center all the way out to that short court, to the mid-range area, opening up that zone. Here's Rayleigh met up by Turner. Saved by Union and a fresh 20 
for Harding. Here's part of that all-around all game. He can shoot the three, he can hit mid-level, he can drive. And he's given him minutes. He's given Harding some minutes. He normally averages about 12 minutes per game. And he's playing long minutes here in this first half. Ayate from distance. And the rebound and putback is good by McCullough and a foul. David McCullough, the redshirt sophomore from Bowie, playing huge for Bowie State here in the first half. Well, this zone is so spread out, it makes it easier for Bowie State to get in there, an offensive rebound. McCullough with eight in the first half. He and Carpenter has combined for 17 of the 24 Bowie points to pull even with Virginia Union pending the three-point play. Team's leading scorer this season at 13 a night. And Bowie is ahead by one. Seventh lead change and another step out by Union to give it back to Bowie. 11 first half turnovers by the Panthers. You can kind of see why they've been stepping out of bounds. How that white line kind of blends in with the court. And then when you're wearing the white sneaker, or you have the white edge <laughs> for, the, for those for those sneaker heads that might be watching tonight. Yes, I mean, you know, when you're in your home gym, you sort of know where that line is just from being there. Kids' mind, it, you know, it's, it's different. So you sort of have to play that mental game with them. Like they said, Hoosiers, you know, they had that scene where they measure the, the height of the oh, rim yeah. and everything, and so that everything's the same. Under a minute to go for Bowie, who leads by one. Shot clock is at five. Here's Turner finding Drayton for three. three Quinton Drayton from behind the yard gives Bowie a four-point lead with 40 seconds to go. And they've certainly got the momentum here. And they, going into the half, if Virginia Union doesn't score here, nice duck in. Right to Sims underneath, partially blocked by Ayate. McCullough the rebound, and Bowie will play for one. That was great play on both ends on that last trip. Who gets the shot, Williams or McCullough? Well, actually, Carpenter. Goes off the glass and off the back of the rim. Right the rebound, saved by Pitts. Here comes Sims, shoots for three. And hey, we're, we're not going anywhere. We're going to continue the tough defense that we played, maybe hit a few shots in the first five minutes, and stay in this game. Well, let's see whose shots will be falling early on. Starting fives for both teams are on to begin the final 20 minutes. Turner. Found Ayate down low for two. That's where that short corner I talked about before halftime. That's going to be open in that zone. What a pass by Dexter Turner to find Ayate through that zone to give Bowie a six point lead. Here is Tate with two fouls. Ayate got a partial block, got another one, and the loose ball picked up by Bowie. Here's Ayate in the lane to McCullough over Osborne. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Bowie. And the other key factor for Virginia Union in this half, the fact that multiple players have two fouls. Five Panthers with two. Carpenter from downtown. It is Bowie's largest lead of the night at nine. Carpenter's third three-pointer in this game, his eighth in this tournament. Here is Peoples attacking the rim. Osborne's follow-up is good, plus a foul. That's big there, the second opportunity. Foul is going to be on Williams of Bowie. But Osborne, it's a big time move there by the junior. 
And their inside points come from offensive rebounds. They're not coming from any type of penetration. Osborne, who led the team in offensive rebounds in the regular season, came up with a big one and a three-point play to pull the Panthers within six. Carpenter with 12. First player in double figures in the game. Here's that short corner again. Shot clock is under 10. Williams. Down low to McCullough. Rebound squeezed in by Peebles. They were doing everything right, moving the ball around, but just didn't get the shot to fall. High sled. Running the offense for Virginia Union. Averaging almost three assists this season. Shot clock is under 10 for Peoples. Against Carpenter. And they're going to get a foul on Bowie. That will go against Carpenter, his second. Foul call number two, Anthony Carpenter. His second personal, second team foul. The inbounds pass was too high for Wright. And Turner has it for Bowie. Here's McCullough. Great pass to Carpenter for three. It seems like he can't miss in this tournament. Turner comes up with the steal. Found Carpenter again for three. That was that about the house I was now. about to say the same thing. That was a heat check there for Carpenter. And Jay Butler will burn a timeout. We'll take one as well as Bowie State in the road uniforms at home, leading by nine. Bowie State trying to become the second men's team in this year's tournament with the double-digit seed to advance to the next round. They lead Virginia Union by nine with the berth in the conference semifinals on the line Friday night. Sean Robertson, Helen Williams, our entire crew here at Royal Farms Arena. A steal by Bowie on the entry pass as they look to push their lead up to double figures with a made basket. Yeah, just impatience there on the timeout coming out there and trying to get Osborne coming to his strong left side off the screen. He needed to show a lot more patience there. Carpenter again the story tonight. 15 points in the game. He's hit four threes for the Bulldogs. Now with seven to shoot. Out to McCullough with one on the shot clock, and they don't get a shot off. And a violation and a turnover to Virginia Union. Only their seventh turnover here in the game. Union has committed 14 miscues so far. Kalen Vines, a sophomore from Clinton, Maryland, in for the first time for the Panthers. Osborne, Peoples, Tate, and Wright on the floor for Union. Dangerous spot to pick up the dribble by Osborne. Union gets it across, and now they got about 11 to shoot. Wright with five. Turner causes a turnover, and now another foul is called. It's either on Ayate or Osborne. They're going to get Osborne of Union. When the clock's running down. You got to get it to a player that has the ability to penetrate from the perimeter. Here, you don't get anything. Quick hands. We've seen that a lot by Union. Or actually by Bowie, rather. Bowie defensively this year had allowed the 10th most points per game this season. 76 points per night. As Osborne with a good overplay, Bowie State will maintain it. Yeah, a little bit of extracurricular going on between Ayate and Osborne. The official trying to take care of that. 
And Quinn Murphy was trying to get in between them while the play was gonna was taking place. As Osborne will come out with his three fouls, Ayate also will leave for Bowie. As Okafor will come in for the Bulldogs. Also in for Union is Rasheed Gatling, a sophomore from out of D.C. McCullough, Turner, Carpenter, seven to shoot. Here's McCullough. And too high of a pass and a turnover back to Virginia Union. Yeah, he had that wide open shot right there at the you know, 12 foot line. Should have taken it. A little too unselfish there. Panthers get a stop, down by nine. Four and a half minutes gone here in the second half. Here's Tate on the move. Rebound squeezed in by Okafor. Only one of those shots has gone in for Virginia Union when they penetrated that way. Panthers only shooting 33% in the game. Bowie at 28.2 tonight. Shot clock's at 10. McCullough got fouled and will shoot. No reason to be sleeping. Nine point lead for the Bulldogs and McCullough just made it now 10. And there's that championship ring we were talking about earlier. There's a good shot of Coach Brooks's Bowie State Championship ring. He's got a couple, 2013-2017. McCullough hits on both. And the lead. The first five minutes, they have made their statement, we are not going anywhere, forcing another four turnovers and another three points off turnovers for the Bulldogs. And expanded their lead as a foul is going to be called on Bowie, and it's going to be, it looks like, on Dexter Turner. Halftime lead was at four. 28 to 24. And Union has been held to just three points here in the second half. A drive inside by Gatling is rewarded with two free throws. So Union trying to spread it out. Get a little more space if you want to get to drive. And that's Turner's third foul. Bowie State's assisters were looking up at the uh, scoreboard above the arena, checking out the Jumbotron, and uh, they didn't like the call. Gatling doesn't make the first free throw as Rayleigh will come in, the senior from out of Jacksonville, to replace Tate. There's a look at that screen that the Bowie State uh, coaches were looking at to see whether or not they liked the call. I don't think they needed the screen to see they <laughs> I don't think so call. either. <laughs> Any call against the team that you're coaching for, you're not going to like it. Drayton is into the game. That ball sounded like it was kicked. It was kicked. And Union gets the turnover. Here's Gatling to Rayleigh, but he stepped out of bounds. 15 turnovers by Virginia Union in the game. There is something to that. We were talking earlier about the being in a different facility and the perception. You just sort of automatically know when you're at home where that line is. And it's right there. The white edge was on that white line. Here's route to Drayton. And Bowie's going to reset. An 11-point lead as we're almost six minutes gone here in the second half. Drayton on the move. Tip no good by Okafor. Still loose. Drayton now has it for Bowie in a reset. There's no stat on this stat sheet for loose balls, but I guarantee you that... Oh, the slam winning that. by Okafor off the McCullough miss. That is a statement. Man. The first pass was nice to McCullough, who didn't get the layup, but Okafor had his back. And it's Bowie's largest lead of the game at a dozen. Loose ball, McCullough on the floor, and he's tied up with Peoples. The arrow stays with Union. A 
before that thunderous dunk, I was trying to make the point that there's no stat for loose balls, but if there were, certainly Bowie State would win that. They are all over all of the 50-50 balls. Seems like they're playing, like I mentioned this earlier in the night with a couple of Bowie State alums and dignitaries. They seem freer at ease as they're in the midst of a 12 to four run in almost six minutes and forced another union turnover to result in an extra possession for the Panthers. As we take a look at our Hercules tires, strong move of the game, guess what it is? Okafor bringing it from his hip. They say throw it down, big fella. That's right. Like I said, the first pass by Turner to, to McCullough was nice to beat that zone, but then Okafor unblocked and not to be denied. Turner running the show with Carpenter on the bench for Bowie. And last touch by the Panthers. Bowie will have it with 13 to shoot. Rebounds are fairly even. Union with a one rebound edge over the Bulldogs. Shot clock is now at 10 for Bowie, leading by 12. McCullough, Drayton for three. Rebound picked up by Osborne, almost stolen by McCullough. Here's Tate on the run. And now Gatling will hold it up for you and to work with. Here's Tate. Rebound picked up by Drayden as Tate hit the floor. And Dexter Turner, the team's leading assist man, who was in the top 20 in the conference in that category, was running the show. Here's Okafor into the lane, off the glass. Osborne the rebound for Union. Harding back in for the Panthers. Goes up and under and scores for Union. That's the first time we heard from him in a while. Harding now with seven, and Union trailing by 10. Inside 12 minutes to go here in the game. Union fans are now calling for defense. Okafor thought about the three. Shot clock is under 10. Here's Drayton. He'll shoot two. Again, that free throw area is wide open for you to cut when they spread out this zone. We State's doing a very good job of that. Osborne now becomes the first Panther in the danger zone as he picked up his fourth foul. Great no-look pass by Okafor. Showing off his vision. All of these Bulldogs playing with so much confidence here in these first couple of games in the tournament. Like playing with house money, right? Playing with house money. And that's one of the leading candidates to make all tournament team here in the CIAA. And that's Anthony Carpenter with 15 points in the game, four three-pointers tonight. He had five in the win against Elizabeth City last night. Well, he held them down at the beginning of that first half when they were really struggling to score. Nine of their first 10 points. And at one point was the only Bulldog to make a field goal. Bowie's lead is at 11, 41 to 30 as Jordan Peoples back in for Union. Here's Hardy with a good spin. And Tate is gonna be called for a double dribble. Just great team defense right there in the paint by Bowie State the entire game. Tate a little bit frustrated right now as his Panthers have only scored six points in almost nine minutes here in this half. Drayton into the lane. Quentin Drayton now has six and the Pan uh, Panthers are trailing by 13 here with nine minutes gone by in the game. We thought the surprise last night was Bowie over Elizabeth City. This would be the shocker here in the tournament right now if this lead holds up. Last night they did it with shooting. Tonight they're doing it with defense. 
Quentin Murphy right on it as they said Harding was called for a hold. And that'll be his third. Union with five team fouls here in the second half. And Helena, if they get back in this game, it must start on the defensive end. Well, they've been picking apart this zone. Now they switch to man-to-man. -to -man. So Turner and Carpenter back on the floor in the backcourt for Bowie with 10 on the shot clock. Carpenter against Harding. High off the window. Ball loose, picked up by Tate. The lob to Peoples, and he got fouled by Drayton. A hard foul and a clean foul by Drayton as Peoples will shoot two. That's what they've got to do. They've got to get foul stops on this end. They change their defense. Clinton, we'll see Drayton. if they stay in that man to man. His first personal, 15, second personal. 15. Peoples somewhat quiet here tonight. Only two attempts from the field. He has two points, but seven rebounds for Union here in the game. He's at his best when they're in transition and they haven't been able to really get that going. Because Bowie has done a good job of taking care of the ball, just nine turnovers so far as Tate will come out, really in for Union, down by 12. Peoples, a 62% shooter from the stripe, hits on both to make it an 11 point buoy lead as we're almost halfway through here in this quarterfinal matchup. <laughs> Turner against Rayleigh. That's why they're up by 11 points. Holding the Panthers to just two of seven shooting here in the second half at 28.6%. Drayden has it against Harding and draws a blocking foul on the freshman. He becomes the second Panther in the danger zone now with four fouls. And that is a seventh team foul on Union, so now Bowie will shoot the rest of the game. And you have to take Harding out. You'd like to leave him in there, but you never know with the freshman if they're going to understand it. I want you to play defense, but I need you to stay in the game, too. Drayden, a 77% shooter from the stripe. Splashes home the first attempt, now with seven in the game. A look at Jay Butler on the Union sideline in year number six as head coach of the alma mater. 116 wins in his career at Union and a conference tournament title as a head coach in 2018. 23 free throws for Bowie State. 14 of 23 from the stripe. Union 10 of 15 from the line. And Bowie leads by 13 at the nine and a half minute mark in regulation. Tate with five points on two of eight shooting. Trying to get on track now with 10 to shoot. Here's Rayleigh for three. Turner the rebound for Bowie. One and done by Union offensively on that trip. Getting down to the crucial time where Jimmy Union is going to have to make a move or they're going to be going home. Here's Drake trying to go baseline. Goes off the window. Ante the rebound. Shot clock didn't reset. Ante for three. Rebound. Good box out by the Peoples of Union. Harding has played a lot of good minutes for Virginia Union, running the show, the sophomore from D.C. Rayleigh over Carpenter and draws a foul on A&T, I believe. And now that might, might not be a good look if you're a Bowie fan as Carpenter limping a little bit on that last trip. Wave the coach off. Said, I'm not coming out of this game. Not at all. Make it work for the next eight minutes. So Rayleigh is at the line, and 
This is a great story for this young man from out of Jacksonville, Florida. Coming out of high school, had an offer to go to Jacksonville University, decided not to go there to strengthen his academic standards, went to Iowa Western, played there for a year, then went to Little Priest Tribal College in Winnebago, Nebraska, that has the smallest enrollment of any college in the country at 135 students. And it's on a Winnebago Tribe reservation in Nebraska. Drayton for three. Peoples the rebound. And Union brings it up. And Drayton trips up Harding and picks up the foul. That'll be their seventh team foul. And now Union will shoot the rest of the way. But I want to finish up that story. He plays one year at Little Priest College, at the junior college. 90% of the population is basically all native Indian, but he was able to go there. Averaged about 14 points a game, got one offer from there, which was Virginia Union. Turned out to be preseason all-conference and is playing well this season for Virginia Union. As we look at that last trip up. Oh, wow. He got that was awkward. There. Awkward. Wow. Hyperextended his knee, it looked like. How do you find out about Little Priest Junior College? Well, there was a connection with the coach there, I believe with an AAU coach that he had. But he was able to go there. The enrollment was 135 more than 90% of the students were Native American in Winnebago, Nebraska. Shows a lot of perseverance for that young man. And Absolutely. they always said, no, they're saying college football. If, if you can play, they will find you. And that's what they, that's what they did with Rayleigh. He was playing, and they were able to find him. Five to shoot for Bowie. Here's Route. And now the rebound to Peebles. Coach Brooks thought there should have been a foul on Union. Here's Rayleigh for three. He draws a foul on the shot attempt as Turner picked it up. And a foul on the over the back, but people's never touched him. He just out jumped him. Never put a body on him. And Turner becomes the first bulldog to go in the danger zone with his fourth foul. And Rayleigh, the senior, as I mentioned, from Jacksonville with three attempts from the strike. 77 and a half percent from the line. And the connection with Union's coach Jay Butler, he knew the coach at Little Tribal. They have a connection because he uh, used to coach in North Carolina Central. And okay. he went there. There was a connection. He told him about Rayleigh, said how well he played. He averaged 14 points in his season there. And Butler offered him a scholarship. Small world. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Hadley was the head coach at Little Priest. He was uh, a member of the class of 2000 at North Carolina Central. You know about the fraternity or the sororities of coaches uh, around around the country. It's We say it's small, but it is it, a lot really bigger is. than that. You, you, everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You just need to make one phone call to find out what you need to find out. And your circle is very big. Bowie State breaks the press. With seven and a half to go, the lead is now nine for Bowie State. When I get to that five minute mark where you're under double digits. And now we got a foul. And that looks like Tate will be guilty of the foul on Union. That'll be his third. Remember, both teams will shoot free throws the rest of the game as they're over the bonus. Both have 18 fouls, as really will come back in to replace Harding, or Gatling, rather. Khalil Williams at the line for Bowie, the sophomore from Annapolis. Averaging just over five points a game this season, nearly 83% from the stripes, got a one and one. Osborne cleans up the miss. Panthers get a break down by nine, coming up on seven minutes to go in the game. And 
Williams picks up the foul. That's his fourth. He joins Turner in the danger zone with four fouls. Gatling will come back in for Union. Looks like now defense for offense. And now Ante will come in for Williams, who will sit with his four personals. Robert Osborne at the line, the junior from Richmond. Transfer from Hampton. Connects on the first as Sims will come in to replace Khalif Tate. First team all CIAA this past season. Leading scorer on the team, 14th best in the CIAA at just under 13 a night. Has pulled Union to within 7.45-38. Union fans to include their president, Dr. Lucas, on his feet. Trying to get a turnover and almost a turnover as Peoples touched it last. Union will stay on defense. There's the president of Virginia Union standing up. Starting the Virginia Union chant. Important from Bowie State not to be tentative here, to still play aggressively on offense. Stolen by Osborne. Tiptoed down the sideline to stay in play. Osborne, what a move! And the lead is at five with six and a half to go. Well, keep you with that lead. The first thing you gotta do is get it over half court. Drayton gives it back to Carpenter, and he'll reset. Will Carpenter take the shot with under 10? Thought about it. Here's Drayton. Rebound goes to Peoples. And you see those shots are a little short. You see the pressure there. Five-point buoy lead inside six minutes. Catling into the lane. Little strong on the layup and Drayton the rebound. This is as close as Union has gotten since halftime when they trailed by four at the break. They've gone to their man-to-man -man defense. Sims, who lost his balance and lost his footing, is going to get called for a foul. And Jay Butler didn't like that at all. Nine team fouls on Union, and McCullough will shoot a one and one. I guess Butler was complaining on the fact that McCullough was trying to go over the back of Sims when he lost his footing. Got the bounce on the front end. Rayleigh comes back in for Virginia Union to replace Gatlin. Both coaches working the officials here at the final 534. You gotta try. McCullough has 12 on the night. Make it 13. Seven point lead for Bowie as we're coming up on five and a half to go. It's gonna be 25, 26 free throws by Bowie State. Bowie is 16 of 26 from the line. High sled is back in now for Union. And a foul is gonna be called on Bowie. And that's Okafor's first. And that's team foul number 10 now for Bowie and a double bonus situation for Robert Osborne. Two free throws will be shot by Union the rest of the game. Means we could be here a while. But you know what? 
This has turned out to be a great game here in the second half. Almost midnight East Coast time. And Osborne doesn't get the roll. a and and Turner in for Okafor and Rout. Once again, offensive and defensive substitutions here early. As stake a trip to the conference semifinal for the winner. Union has missed eight free throws tonight now, 17 of 25 from the stripe. And the lead is at six. Drayton just got it in play to Ayate. And another foul. And that's going to be Sims. His third. Sims is wondering, yeah, he, he did grab his arm as he drove by him. And now Virginia Union is in the double bonus as far as team fouls is concerned. That was their 10th. And now the officials is going to clean things up. A lot of woofing on the floor. And Drayton now will shoot two free throws for Bowie. Eight points, eight rebounds tonight for the junior out of Bowie. If you want to continue to be aggressive because you know you're going to get to the line every time there's a foul. Good shot of Daryl Brooks, the head coach at Bowie State. They ended the year 7 and 20 with a seven game losing streak. Won their first round game against Elizabeth City, which was their first win since January 29th when they beat the Vikings. And now they lead by eight over Virginia Union. Take from distance. It's a five-point buoy lead inside money time. Almost a steal. Drayton almost got away with a walk in. 4.55 left in regulation. Bowie State leads by five over the number two seed in this year's men's tournament, Virginia Union. Sean Robertson, Helen Williams, our entire crew here at Royal Farms Arena. In Baltimore, the alley oop to Rayleigh, and it spilled off. Rayleigh gets his own miss and draws a foul. A great pass. He missed the alley oop, but that was a great play. A and A, the foul, his third. And two free throws for Rayleigh, who has four points. That's what you don't want if you're Bowie State, for them to be able to score with time coming off the clock. Without time coming out the clock. Got that first one to drop. Bowie's last field goal made came in the 11 12 mark of this half. So it's almost seven minutes without a male made field goal by the Bulldogs. That full court pressure and aggressive man to man has paid off for Virginia Union. Rayleigh was six, the lead's at three. Bowie breaks the press, and Carpenter will hold up. Jay Butler thought that was a 10-second call. Bowie now with 10 to shoot. Nice feed to Ayate, and found two. First made field goal in almost seven minutes. Bowie's up five. Here's Osborne. He'll draw a foul. A and Tay, the guilty party. He's in the danger zone with four. Back to the last basket. It looks like he almost traveled here. Able to gather his, gather his balance. Dexter Turner, the leading assist man on the team. With the nice vision to A and Tay and Osborne. Gets that first one to drop. 14 points, game high for the junior out of Richmond. Went to Hermitage High School in the capital city of the, of the Commonwealth. One of two for Osborne, and the lead is at four as we're inside four minutes here in the game. Carpenter somewhat quiet here in the second half. 
He had four made three-pointers in the first 20 minutes. Shot clock is under 10. Bounce pass was kicked. Ayate recovered it with one. Gets it off, and Osborne the rebound. That twice it seemed like in this game, the ball was going off a Panther foot, no kickball. I think you gotta go into Robinson here. Here's High slid with it. And they do go indeed to Osborne. Skip pass to Rayleigh. In and out. Back tap to Hines red sled. The three-pointer no good by Tate. And a big rebound by Williams of Bowie. Inside three minutes to go. Here's McCullough. Offensive yeah. foul. And Greg Goings, Greg Goings agrees with the call. Big call in favor of Virginia Union with 253 in regulation. And it's a four-point buoy lead. Panthers can get it to within one if they get a three. The ball inside, put him and Tate on the same side of the floor. High slid all the way to the rim. Back tap to Tate. Rayleigh left open. That's a long two. That's good. They're going to call it a three. And it's a one point buoy lead with under 2.30 to go. 24. 2.25 left. Bowie's lead is at one. Carpenter has it with under 10 against Tate. Now the double and a foul on Union. With three on the shot clock, Bowie will shoot two free throws as Peoples picks up his second foul. Check it, his third. His third personal double bonus situation. On the point two. So, Ayate at the free throw line, his first attempts tonight. He's a 74% shooter from the stripe this season. And two big free throws for the Bulldogs. He stepped back after the release and he was like, I know that's going in. No hesitation. Miss the second, Osborne the rebound. Union with a chance to tie or lead with a three. Inside two minutes. Here's Osborne. Go back to him. They went back to him. And he'll get two free throws, no basket. That basket will not count. The foul will be on Williams, and he is fouled out. First player to be disqualified in the game. And it comes with a minute 47 left in regulation. And Justin Rout will come in to replace Williams. Now Osborne's last trip at the stripe, he made one of two. He's 6 of 11 from the line tonight. He's got that odd spin on the ball. That means it has to hit all net or it's not going in. This for the tie. <laughs> 147 in regulation. We're level at 52. Keep the ball out of the corner, try to get it in the middle of the floor. Got to get it over. You would think Carpenter's got to get it at some point on this possession. 
Shot clock is under 10. Here's Carpenter. No good. And it's out of bounds to. It Not hit the rim. That shot did hit the rim. And it will go back to Bowie. Osborne wants them to check the to check that to replay. But that ball hit the rim. His shot hit the rim. Coach Butler is saying we want a replay. We want to check the replay. And the officials are already at center court to check that out. Now they also are talking to the alternate official. But let's watch the replay and watch the clock. Yeah, clearly. So now it's going to depend on who touched it last. And the signal was Union, and it will stay with Bowie. This is what the fans of the CIAA has missed during that hiatus of 2021 when there was no tournament. A look at the coaches. They've been here, done that in the tournament. Turner with the inbound. And Bowie will get a fresh 20 on the reset. Here's McCullough. Shot clock is under 10 and Rayleigh forces the turnover. Less than a minute to go, tied at 52. Anderson and also Quinn Drayton helping out as well. Union on the floor has Hines Sled, Rayleigh, Tate, Peebles, and Osborne who has the inbound. Going up against Ayate. Blocked out of bounds. Union will maintain it with 13 to shoot it. He had three black jerseys around him on that possession. Again, the team defense for Bowie State the entire game. Inside the Osborne with nine to shoot. That was partially blocked. He first attempt from the strike tonight. And you saw Coach Brooks imploring his team to box out. One of two for high sled as Peoples will re-enter. They have to let some time go off the clock first. Absolutely. Back in. And that's what the official just said. It's got to be at least one possession. So he has to take a seat and go back to the scores table and await the next dead ball. Union with their first lead of the half. We're coming up on a half minute. Carpenter has it against high sled. Losing control and Virginia Union gets it back. And with the shot clock now off, Bowie has to foul. Watch it again. Williams loses footing, and Turner could not save it. Try to get it to Osborne, he does, and quickly fouled by McCullough. Only McCullough second, but Osborne returns to the line. These will be his 14th and 15th attempts at the strike tonight, or this morning, as we are. It is morning, yep. <laughs> We're it past 12.15 a.m. East Coast time. And now Peoples will re-enter the lineup, and Wright will come out. So at worst-case scenario, it will be a one-possession 
game for Bowie State when they get the ball back. Miss both, and now Bowie with a chance to win it on this possession. I'm just gonna let him play it out, not calling plays. Carpenter, <laughs> offensive foul. Don't get too excited because you don't get free throws on this. You still have to get the ball in. No, hesita no hesitation by Carpenter. He was going to go all the way. And how about the different ranges of emotion on that last trip? But as you mentioned, Helen, they got to get it in and they got to hit free throws when they get fouled. Almost a steal, it is a, almost a steal, and now quickly foul. McCullough had it, saved it, but right to Sims, who quickly gave it up with 5.2 seconds to go. Robert Osborne has played a big second half for Virginia Union, and he is our food lion MVP of the game with 16 points, along with eight boards. Hind slit at the line. He was one of two on his last trip. And again, Bowie with a chance, one possession to either tie or win it on their last possession. Did he miss it on purpose? He didn't, but he missed it anyway. And now a timeout. People's on the inbounder, Dexter Turner. And Quentin Murphy says it's a spot. Here's Turner. Rouse for the for the.